Hey, how are you doing? Kevin Clark here. It's a privilege and an honor to be serving you at such a time as this. So moving on in this broadcast, what I'd like to do is share some tools with you. If you're in business, you're going to love this. If you're thinking about starting out in business, you're going to love this. If you are creating sales, but you want to 10 X things to get some more results in what you're doing, you are going to love this. How to sell anything to anyone. That's the title of this post, okay? So we'll start with number one. Make it about them. Create the product, create the service, create the thing around the people that want it. If you create it about yourself, then you're gonna struggle because you might be the only customer you'll ever find or you'll have to travel far and wide to look for people just like you that's interested in this thing that you've created. Now the key is to reverse engineer things. So find out what people want and then give it to them. You do this by probing certain questions and there's ways around this, okay, which I'll share in the next step, okay. So make sure you create it around what people want, not around what you want and that's how you'll succeed. On tip number two, do your research before reaching out do your research before reaching out like can you imagine you reach out you don't do any research that energy that time money spent and i say spent not invested or used spent gone doing your research first to see exactly what it is what your aims are what your purpose is what your ultimate goal is is so essential and then go out and use analytic tools, questionnaires, platforms where people congregate and engage, ask probing questions and find out what people want exactly before you start to create a product, a service and invest your time, money, energy. It's an important rule. Otherwise you can create something and it looks the bee's knees. It's amazing. Everything about it is just wonderful. And it's like, wow, this looks so great. But it doesn't matter how nice the shop looks. If people don't know that you exist or people do not even want the items that's inside it, then you're starting at a loss. You're not starting at a profit at all. So it's essential. Because once you find out what people want and when people know where you are to get what you want, they're not going to really be bothered about all of the other details if you've got exactly what they want inside that container. So that's a huge tip. Number three, build rapport first. Imagine walking up to somebody, right? You've not built any rapport whatsoever. And then you present something to them with the expectation of them to have some interest to buy the thing. You are the business at the end of the day. And if you're not likable, if you're not trusted, then it's going to be hard. And I use the word hard, not even challenging, but hard straight away. Because it's like you're literally hitting a tough surface and bouncing off it. There's no, there hasn't been any, there's no marination taking place. The ground hasn't been troubled. There is, there's, there's been no union taking place there is no coming together you need to have that form of coming together you need to build trust before even presenting information with the expectation of people to buy the information so it's really key become a people person develop friendships you know genuine genuine friendships genuine rapport rather than friendships but genuine rapport with people before going down that road so number four, define your buyer. There's all different types of people out there that have different needs. Defining your buyer is laser focusing on the very things that th these people need first before you presenting your products or your services. So if you know that you've got a product or a service and it's aimed at a particular niche, then defining your buyer is defining your niche market and then presenting your products and services to that niche market after you've built rapport is essential, okay? Number five, contribute first, sell second. Now, I don't know if you watched my previous post, 
but I was speaking about a time when I was at an internet marketing seminar and there was a gentleman by the name of Mark Anastasi, he was my first mentor and he developed rapport with people way before inviting them to attend his internet marketing seminar and he did that online. So by relaxing and relating with people, relaxing and relating people first of all and then go into other things is so crucial because that's all down to relationship building, building trust, becoming likeable. It's essential, especially today online. You've got less time to do that online than you have if you meet people face to face. Face to face is very instant. Body language is so king, it's so green, so crucial in the things of building rapport and communication. Most of the communication takes place in the body language, so to speak. So for people to actually see what you like, to listen to you, to look at your, your, your actions, how you, your gestures with your body, all of these kind of things are huge contributions in regards to you in the field of sales and getting certain results, okay? The psychology of sales, so contribute first, sell second, give things away for free. Let people know exactly what kind of, give people a sense of, uh, an idea of the information that they're going to buy, to, the information that they're going to buy, um, so they can get a bit of knowledge or an understanding of the services that you're delivering before people make a commitment. So just to give something away, it feels great to give something away, but for a person to receive something free, that feels great too. To, to give something away means that there has to be somebody there to receive it as well. So giving is just as important as receiving. It's something for you to always remember. So that's number five. Number six, ask questions and listen. There's all different types of listening. So knock and the door will be open. Seek and you will find. Ask and it shall be delivered. So asking questions and this book, goes into the type of questions to ask, powerful questions that you can ask to literally get any information that you need to get. It's inside the system in 101 Universal Sales Truths. I'll show you where you can get this book from after I go through the 10. But this book is extremely powerful in regards to you maximizing your sales, becoming a sales juggernaut. So ask questions and listen. Asking questions is one thing, listening is another. To listen, different levels of listening. You've got listening and then you've got deep listening. You can listen with your eyes as well as your ears. And then you've got deep listening. So there's times when you've got to literally like focus in to hear not so much what's being said but at the same time what's not being said too. Now, for example, when a person says no, what does no actually mean? It could mean a ton of things. It could mean, I'm not too sure. Maybe it's because things haven't been explained as clear as they should have been. It could be a financial issue. Again, how you ask certain questions has a massive impact on what you're gonna get in return in regards to an answer. And the more we become great question askers, wow, it's as almost as though you don't have to sell just by asking powerful questions alone can get the job done. So asking is one thing, listening is another thing. So get used to listening. As you can see, I'm using tone right here to get your attention more. So there's a ton of things that we can do with the way that we ask questions, how we ask questions. Moving on. Number seven, mindful of psychological quirks. Being mindful of psychological quirks works. I don't need to go into that. Number eight, approach them on their level. So this has got a lot to do with relax and relating. 
relaxing and relating. The art of relaxing and the art of relating will enable us to be able to step inside this arena and do great things. Once a person's relaxed and you're relating, you can have a nice, fluid conversation. There's less block, there's less resistance, which means now you can continue to do what you need to do on a level where you know that there's gonna be understanding on both sides. So when you relax and relate with somebody, the person that you are communicating with can freely ask you questions if they're not too sure, feel more comfortable, and you're literally together as one working towards a common goal. So the resistance levels now completely become eradicated. It's really important, okay? So moving on, number nine, hit an emotional high point. How do you hit an emotional high point? You've got to be asking the right questions first in order to understand what people want before you can go and hit that emotional high point. Once we identify what people actually want from a product or a service, and then we can bring in that information and paint a picture that the potential customer can see with their mind, you're on a winner right there. Once you can tick those boxes right at that peak, that's when you go with the close. Because you know that you've identified what the customer wants. They can see that the product or service will give them exactly what they want. Now that everything's done in that place, so to speak, closing is important because at that part, that's the peak of the whole process in helping your potential customer transition to getting the thing that they want with less resistance. And number 10, remember you're selling to a person, okay? A human being, you're selling to a person. So just to be yourself, just to come across naturally, use manners, be polite, be yourself, see people eye to eye, ask the right questions, important. If you look at people as money labels, points, you're going to have a challenging time until you start to put those 10 nuggets to practice how to sell to anyone until you put those to practice, they're like fundamental foundational things that you need to have in the forefront of your mind for you to win in the arena of sales. So great place to start team, great place to start how to sell anything to anyone. That's page 54 of the 101 universal sales truths they don't want you to know. Unlock done for you sales truths any sale from prospect to close, from any sale. I remember putting together this book and the work that's gone into it. This is a huge book. So details wise, description box, you can find all the details in the description box. It's available at Amazon, you can get it as a hard book, you can get it as a Kindle download, ebook, you can get it as a paperback book. It's available in all formats. Get your hands on a copy, order it today. Once you receive it, read it, put the information to practice and watch your life change for the good, better and best. Do connect with me if you are in need of coaching material, mentoring, you can find my details below. You can connect with me. We can work as a team, build and do great things. So that's it from me, Kevin Clark, believing in you. And remember, stay 
focus. God bless. I love you. Bye now.